Dad. Yes, sir. I want to introduce you to the four best tequilas for under $40. Under 40 bucks. Correct. All right, okay, let's do it. The first tequila brand up for under $40 is gonna be Milagro. Now, Milagro retails at about $39.99, so right under the cusp. Now, for this list, I have a couple things in mind. Number one is going to be the authenticity of the tequila, obviously, the additives, whether or not they have them in them, and the presentation of the bottle. If you're gonna be bringing this to a friend, you wanna make sure the presentation is good. This bottle happens to be a nice hue, a nice ombre, and is an Anejo tequila. Wait, a hue? Hue. It's still by Pedro Juarez, one of the most recognized master distillers in Mexico. He's been doing it for about 35 years. Now, different than other tequilas, Milagro uses two types of stills, a pot and a column. I don't know much about making tequila, but I know that's a little bit different than how most are made. So again, I want you to taste this, give you a raw reaction how you feel of the Anejo tequila. I want to taste mine in this. See what this is? This is a clay shot glass. Go ahead, man. How cool is that? I, uh, one, one more thing before I get started. Okay, I'm ready. It smells like tequila. Mm. Uh, that's good. I, I like that. That's cool. So supposedly the uh, agave they use for this is grown in like the Jalisco Islands. It's supposed to be a sweeter or the sweetest agave you can use. And okay. I taste the sweetness coming in. All right, so here, here's how I'm going to measure and evaluate this. When I say uh, hot, what I mean by hot is I can get the, the, the alcohol, the heat of the liquor right. here. It's not going to burn your tongue hot, but you definitely, and it's not temperature hot, of course, but yeah. This is a little bit on the, the spicier, hotter side for me. It, it is definitely a, a preference. And if this is in your budget as an option, I guess then it's an option for you. All right. Next up on the list is G4 Blanco by Felipe Camarina. Retail price is just under 40 at again, $39.99. So the bottle is actually very simple for a reason. Felipe on his website is quoted by saying, I'm not in the business of making fancy bottles. I'm in the business of making great tequila. So you gotta, you gotta respect that. The G4 stands for the four generations of family that have been making tequila. The notes on this thing are gonna be very vast. There's a lot of flavor to this, a lot of spice, a lot of pepper, a lot of sweet. So I guess expect, expect more than less in your mouth. 80 proof. 80 proof, correct. Cheers. Cheers. Wow. Uh, this has a very, to my nose, a very uh, kind of sweet and spicy. Yeah. You just said that, right? I did. I did. Wow. Very, that's very different than, yeah, than the first flavors. one if we're comparing the two. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of things coming through right there. But again, you got you to gotta know what to expect, right? If you're a, a brand new um, tequila drinker, this may turn you off okay. maybe a little bit too much. So, so this is truly... Uh, a lot spicier. Yeah. It has a, a heat to it, um, a temp not a temperature heat, a heat to it where I'm, and I'm feeling it on the top of my mouth. I'm actually now feeling it in, the, yeah. in my, my gum line. Which is great. I think this is a great experience. Great sipping experience on this tequila. Next up on the list, actually my favorite tequila is La Gritona. Wait, this is your favorite? This is my favorite. Oh, I'm learning something about yep. you. I didn't know that. A lot of fun facts about this brand. I love like little nuggets that you can, uh, that you can pull from. So, off the bat, Recycled glass, green recycled glass meant to look like a canister. See the little cap yeah. right there? Yeah, yeah. If you collect 10 of them, you can send them back and they'll reuse the cap. Now this is a great way for them to save money and be uh, recyclable. Eco-friendly. Some other cool facts. All female ran, team female founded, only make one skew, which is Reposado. That's it. Oh, cool. They oh, keep things a very simple. So Reposado is a tequila that's aged for at least six to 12 months. Mm -hmm. This tequila, again, happens to be additive free. Uh, notes of caramel and fruit, so maybe a little bit of a sweeter um, sweeter tequila. Probably takes on some of the flavors of the cask it was in, I don't know. You can always tell when a tequila is additive free. Hmm. And again, these are things you have to know before going into sipping on tequila, because it's gonna taste very different. Transparently, it may not taste as good as the sugary uh, tequilas that you may be used to. So keep that in mind. But you're gonna feel really good the next day. This, I mean, now it's a Reposado, to be fair, compared to a Blanco. Mm. Not as much of that heat, and a lot silkier, smoother on my, on my tongue. Yeah. That's the first I thing I noticed. Some of the flavors are coming through now. Mm -hmm. The more I breathe, the more I let it go up into my nostrils and, and kind of just let it sit there. It, it takes on a whole different profile. Yeah, this is, this is good. Well, again, another thing they do um, to be eco-friendly, they reuse the same barrels over and over again. 
Cool. So this thing is aging and probably taking on a ton of flavors from past tequilas and things like that. All right, great. Great looking bottle. Again, it's gonna have a story to tell when you bring it to a friend. Another bonus. All right, Dad, last but not least, we have 1800 tequila. Now, what I want to say about 1800 is this. You've probably seen this brand before, and that's not a reason to dismiss a uh, tequila, because you know it. A lot of people, when they think of something as popular, they write it off as not authentic. 1800 has been making tequila since 1800. I think they know what they're doing. I noticed the shape, what do you think of? Uh, mm, I'm gonna guess pyramids. Right, they're paying homage to the Mayan pyramids, actually. Yep. Makes sense to me. Yep. Okay. Not as, not as like, crazy flavorful in the smell. No, not at all. It's also the world's most awarded tequila family. Cheers. Cheers. Now this is the same recipe they've used since 1800. This We're sipping been on around, history yeah. right now. This has been around since 1800? Wow. Wow, he's right. Mm. It's uh, so interesting how all these have tasted. Very different. Pretty different. Yeah, this, uh, this is very different. So I, I am, uh, I'm compelled to comment right now about all four of them, but I, I, uh, let's just, for my own sake, I gotta stay focused here, right? Stay so, focused. So this, this is much hotter. It's, yes. it's Blanco, that explains it. I just came from the Reposado, so I came from something uh, softer. This is contrastingly different. It is. Easy to sip on though. Spicy. It's definitely got a lot more yeah, spice in it. It does. So this retail is actually even less than 30. So if you're looking to bring something that people are gonna know, um, a little bit of like a, hey, he brought 1800, Go with this. All right, Dad, we have 1800, Lagertona, Milagro, and G4 Blanco. Give me a little recap, how you feel? Okay, so my recap, first, did you notice what I was doing? You didn't even comment. I was gonna ask you, I was about to ask you what were you doing with your hands. Yeah. So what I was doing is trying to establish in the heat hand test, I didn't make this up, but the test will create some friction, um, heating up the liquid in my hands. In doing so, I will find some form of tackiness the less tacky or no tackiness means little to no additives. And the more tacky would indicate, because I'm heating this liquid up, that the sugars and maybe extra agave and syrup, stuff like that, will make it tacky. Clearly, this one was the silkiest. This could also lend itself to the fact that, you know, this is a reposado. So this has been aged and this has been softened. But that's why I do that. And I think if you try it yourself at home, Number one, it's fun. It's something to talk yeah. about. It makes drinking and, and cocktail and just sharing with your friends the experience a little bit broader than just saying, open a bottle, let's see how fast we can finish it. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so look, we picked these as our favorite four for under $40. We're not saying that they're all additive free, nor are we saying that we necessarily care as much as maybe some people do, and I respect their decision to care and only drink additive free tequila, 100%. That's why Lagertone is my favorite out of these four. The next, I'm gonna go, if I'm bringing it somewhere, I'm gonna bring the 1800 because of the cool bottle and the cool story. Milagro next, the G4 would be last, but again, I, I enjoy all four of these. Okay, so I, I'm gonna do it a little differently, right? It's not fair to compare these all to one another. Price point, yes, but you have a Reposado, you have an Añejo, and you have Blancos. Okay, so let's start with these two, right? Both Blancos. Both bottles, classic, traditional, you know, something that your eye will gravitate to and most people have either seen because their marketing is so vast, right, and popular, it's been around a long time. Not gonna go wrong bringing that to a party. I have it to like this Blanco taste a little better. All right guys, so here's our list for the top four tequilas under $40. Comment below what your favorite brand is. That's it for today. Like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Cheers. Cheers everybody.